So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges 801 and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware for what is up for the week. We're also going to be doing the last call video as well. But I tend to like to do these just because uh, it's more catered towards some of the stuff that you'll be looking at in the beginning, considering Xur is not available right now. So that's why I like to do these. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really does help. Other than that, let's just get into it. Missions of Mercy 3, complete part 3 of Act 1, Lixney Rescue. Um, all the stories available, specifically Act 1, or, yeah, Act 1 stories, all available. Like, you don't have to wait for the weeks. So, I mean, you can complete all of it. I mean, that's what I ended up doing because uh, what else am I going to do? Uh, playing the field, unlock minor discoveries and field work, track them with Ido in her uh, tonic laboratory. This one's not hard. It's uh, one of Ido's things to do. Um, they're kind of boring in my opinion, but you kind of have to do them, so you might as well do them. Uh, unwavering, <clears throat> unwavering, complete waves in Onslaught Salvation. Unfortunately, this doesn't work, work retroactively because if it did, I would have completed this already because I've been playing a lot of Onslaught, at least last week I was. This week I've been playing more World of Warcraft. Throne World activities in the Throne World, complete bounties and earn progress by completing patrols, public events, and looting lost sectors. Just do stuff in, th in Throne World, that's really it. And then High Value Hunter, defeat powerful combatants in Gambit, earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets. Yeah, I'm not going to explain this, people are probably not going to do this, which is completely fair. Um, Gambit really doesn't offer anything crazy for people, specifically like... Yeah, especially people who don't like Gambit. For me, I don't really mind it. I just wish they gave us more stuff. To be fair, like, I'm going to be pretty happy because we're getting bygones. Or I have bygones, I think. So, yeah. Uh, Demo and Firefly. This is going to be good for PvE. But I wish they gave us a little bit more. Like, maybe, maybe a new armor set, an ornament, weapon ornament. Um, there's a bunch of stuff they could give us. So, And that's not just for Gambit. Like, Crucible and all the other stuff. Um, for the fit for the video, I mean, it's this again. I haven't really played, like I said, so if, like honestly, I might as well show you guys um, a new one. And this one is from. This is the other set that I made for it, so might as well show you guys because I will be making this video soon. But uh, uh, yeah, so this is the new helmet, uh, mask of fealty. I'm most likely going to be pushing this video up by the end of this week, hopefully. If not, I mean, I, I will have content for you guys. I'm going to be working on it today. But uh, Vicarian Grips for the arms, Spectral Displacer Cuirass for the chest piece, Interlace Strides for the boots, and then Eternal Vengeance Cloak. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is pretty cool. Very much a, like, um, a robotic piece in my head. I don't know. Honestly, I just went with Rule of Cool for this one. It all started with the cloak, Eternal Vengeance cloak. I thought the spiky bits was going to be really cool in comparison to the spiky bits right here. And then from there, I was like, well, if I'm going to use this chest or this cloak, I'm going to want to like have like a, almost like a, like a, not robot, but kind of like that feeling, which is why I went with Spectral Displacer Caress, just because uh, you see the, the pecs right here. And then the, like the abs right here kind of looks like, like a robot, like actually the better choice would have been to use uh, that one exotic. I forgot what it's called. Um, let me see, let me see. It did get buffed too as well, so I, I'm thinking about using it. Uh, Raiju's Harness. So it's kind of like the same concept as this, where it's like pecs, abs, but it's like metallic. That's kind of like where my head went. So overall, I think it's pretty cool. To be fair, like this helmet's pretty rough though. Like I'm going to talk about it when we, do, when we do the review video, but... It's pretty rough, but Sato Trap is what I'm using just because this shader is the best shader. But if I'm being quite honest, uh, Argent Territory would have been a pretty good choice just because uh, it combines everything pretty well. But if you wanted something that's like just like everything combines well, it would be uh, Dreaming Spectrum. I think Dreaming Spectrum is the only shader that actually combines each armor like cohesively. And I mean that in the sense that uh, Argent Territory used to be really good for that. But unfortunately, they changed the shader. Um, back in the day, the red wasn't as red as it was now. Um, and the off color, like right here, the like almost the red silver was not there as well. So it was literally just silver and blue, which was so cool. I do recommend you guys to check out the video because I did make an Argent Territory shader video. So that way you guys can see how they butchered that shader because they completely butchered it, dog. It's not even funny. I'm actually thinking about making 
uh, re-reviewing that shader so that way you guys can see just how messed up they did it because i think it was perfect just the way it is to be fair there's gonna be people saying oh well uh that shader didn't showcase this shader and the off color for the metal so that's why they did it but i i still hate them for it let me know what you guys think about that example set <clears throat> so for shaders we're gonna be looking at rasmussen clan which there's some people out there that say the rasmussen shader is the best shader from season of the forge uh those people are wrong because that's not sat sato tribe is the best one um and that's an easy it's it's an easy clap because sato tribe doesn't have this gross yellow the both rasmussen and the red one have that gross yellow so i don't even come at me saying no no rasmussen is the best one because tell me that when they lose this yellow caca color um we have new pacifica sink and then war cult camo so yeah that is pretty much it for the shaders for the armor i'm gonna be honest with y'all i would definitely recommend this armor especially if you want to make like a fallen slash elixir vibe more fallen because that's like where the armor kind of reminds me of because for me elixir is more um splicers themed now that's kind of like where my head goes but it's also not wrong to say that this armor is elixir themed considering elixir is the race and fallen is kind of like a derogatory term for the elixir at least i don't know um it's derogatory but it also kind of like fits them because they were they were fallen that's the reason they're, they're called fallen is because they fell from how they used to be because they used to be um i don't this is not a lore channel go check out why um tangled websuit hunters helm is super dope i think the arms are cool i actually do use them it's just they're asymmetrical as fuck chest piece is the worst piece boots are pretty cool and i think the cloak is cool it's just you have to be mindful of shadering because some shaders look really good with it and some shaders look really really bad with it so just be mindful of what shaders you put with it titans i think the helmet's pretty cool i think the arms are decent the chest piece is super cool boots are meh like very very meh and i think the mark is probably the worst piece but that i still think it's pretty decent warlocks helmet is pretty dope the arms and the boots are pretty boring chest piece is pretty cool and i think the bond is probably one of the coolest bonds in game like not even joking so let me know what you guys think and if you guys are going to be picking any of these armor pieces up as for eververse we're looking at argent territory and funnily enough i didn't forgot they were selling this one um yeah super dope shader i mean it used to be a super dope shader now it's just a shadow of its former self because again I'm not the biggest fan of this red. I feel like if the red was like a really, really like off, off color, that would have been cool. Um, honestly, I would have, yeah, yeah. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the red. Maybe if it was like a darker red, maybe like a magenta, Mag magenta's red, right? It's like a red. Hmm. Yeah. If it was like a darker red, I feel like that would have been way better. And honestly, this like off color that like red silver, if it was if it was a little bit better i feel like it'd be cool but overall like it still looks really good if you lean into the blue and silver um which is terrible uh died finality which cool very much cool we have unchained and then we have mystios cloak which this cloak is fucking cool i love this cloak it's one of my favorite cloaks um, let's go to the other classes so that way you guys can see that because I want to make it a habit to actually show you guys um, all the guardians because I don't want to just show the hunters because I'm a hunter main I know but there's more to the game than just hunters sadly so yeah I just passed it wolf kiss uh, mark this is a cool mark I definitely recommend it especially if you're going for a viking themed this is gonna be the one it looks super super dope and then warlocks um i kind of don't even want to look at yours because it's just a bond and i honestly don't even use that bond um <clears throat> here it is yeah kind of boring in my opinion um if they really wanted to wow me you they would have daggers here because you know you're an assassin assassin's creed that would have been cool um yeah this just this is bad <laughs> so warlock's getting a bad bond never they never get that whatever 
Uh, for the stuff at the bottom, we have raised voice for choir of one, which I am definitely thinking about getting just because making fashion for this would be fun, even though 80% of the people that did fashion for this will probably be using the same pieces that I'm thinking about using. Uh, Red Veteran. <clears throat> Does it change color? Yeah, that's what I thought. If the red didn't change color, I would have been like, whoa, that's weird considering the hunter's cloak doesn't change the color at all. Um, Alpha Zulu, which I fucking kind of want this shit. This, dude, like, this is legit cool as fuck. I kind of want it. Yeah, this looks metal. My only thing is, like, would I use it? And in my heart, I know I wouldn't use it. Even though it's cool as shit, I already have, like, certain ships, sparrows, and ghosts that I always use on my hunter. Um, so I probably would use it on my warlock, but that makes no sense considering, like, I know I never really do tactical for, for my warlock. This is, like, where how deep I go into fashion. Like, I would only use this if I was... If I had a tactical set for the guardian that I'm using it. So like maybe my Titan could wear this or have this. Honestly. Fuck. I do. Can you imagine if we ha if the cockpit was actually like our home and we had our own personal space in here? God, I'm going to make a, a destiny destiny three fast uh, wish list video. And that's going to be in that fucking video because I would want that so bad. Um, Caramel shell. We have Jaunty Dance, Birthday Cake, and then for the Transmat Effects we have Virtuous or vit Vitrous Entrance, uh, Nightmare Emergence, Vex Arrival, And then Boreal Char, I like this shader. It's one of my favorite shaders. It's a really good green. Just be aware that the off color is white right here for the cloth and then white for the plate, which is weird. Uh, <clears throat> different whites, obviously. Iridescent Coral. Verdigris. What the fuck is that color? It's like a really dark bronze. And then Sunrise Warrior. So that is pretty much it for everything. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I am currently working on a bunch of stuff. Why is it telling me? Oh, I can go and oh, let's do that real quick while I'm talking to y'all. So yeah, um, this is the end of the video. If you guys want to check out, I appreciate y'all coming to this point. So I've been working on a bunch of stuff. Ugh, the exotic videos, I still haven't done them because uh, I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft. I might as well show you some of the great things. Uh, some of the raid content that I recorded. I'm currently doing the normal for the current raid. It was a lot of fun. I ended up getting a, a ring that everyone and their mom wants, which is hilarious because uh, I didn't even know that was that good. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing World of Warcraft um, to the point where I'm actually going to start pushing pretty hard into it because uh, I'm going to want to get some transmog in there because obviously the me being the person that I am owning a destiny 2 fashion channel I'm gonna go for fashion in that game so um, so that way I can post some more content for world of warcraft fashion because I do enjoy the fashion in that game I just have to make a introductory uh, video for it first which is what I'm gonna do for all of the games that I do fashion where, where when I want to start a fashion thing for it because uh World of Warcraft's fashion, I have rules when it comes to like certain games fashion and World of Warcraft is pretty funny because uh, it's some people are going to kind of get annoyed, especially if they follow like some of the rules that I have because uh, Destiny 2, I have certain rules that I follow and in World of Warcraft, Warframe and Final Fantasy 14, I don't have those rules because uh, they like, for example, one of my rules would be and I know I talked about this before is um i don't like to combine more than two pieces of an armor set um so for example spectral displacer i don't like to do something like this <clears throat> so yeah i don't like doing stuff like this because you're essentially just wearing one set with two pieces um for world or, for world of warcraft and final fantasy 14 and to a certain extent warframe as well um i actually don't mind it at all because there's there's different reasons that you would want to do that for those games specifically for final fantasy 14 and world of warcraft 
there is and, and i used to do this for destiny 2 but they kind of changed how they do the difficulty in this game but for example I, i'm almost i've almost completed the normal armor for the the raid uh i would a thousand percent use like 80 percent of that armor and then 20 percent other stuff and i would think like okay that's cool because there's a difference between like in destiny 2 where the where the fashion is just kind of like there really is not a lot of difficulty to, to acquiring a lot of this armor aside from like the raids and dungeons and even then it's not difficult it's more the most difficult part is just getting people to do the raid with you um in world of warcraft and 14 it's significantly harder to get people to actually do it with you and to actually run it as well so like for example if i actually push to heroic content then I almost would essentially wear the whole armor set because at that point it's much more of a prestige thing than a fashion thing. Which, again, knowing me, I will probably use like 80% of the, that set and then the other percent would be other stuff. But it would still be like, oh, this is to showcase like I, I'm, at, I'm a heroic uh, dungeon raider type of thing. In Destiny 1, actually, it used to be kind of like that because the hard modes were actually really hard and we ended up getting really cool stuff like the shaders um different armor sets as well and in that time i actually did use one armor set as my fashion because it was much more of a of a flex back then compared to now where i don't there's no point in wearing or there's no point in running like the master raids and dungeons because the armor doesn't change so therefore like there is really no prestige about getting the armor so that's what I mean, like one of my rules personally that I don't follow in the other games where I do in in Destiny 2. So I definitely am going to make a video explaining that because I've had people co comment, oh, you should use different different shaders for all of your armor pieces. And I'm like, I don't follow that rule personally. I think it's a dumb rule. I'm not going to say you're dumb for using it. I just don't mind. I don't like that rule for myself personally because it's, I again, I'll explain it in that video, but that is pretty much it apologies this took longer than expected but i did want to explain a few things and why i haven't been posting because again uh i just don't really see the point in playing destiny 2 right now um my clan is still technically dead even though my clan leader wants to rebuild it but nothing's happened i'm probably tr gonna try to do some of the new raids uh new raid i should say uh the one that came salvations uh something i'm probably gonna try to do that one so that way i can complete that armor because i still haven't reviewed that armor once i get that armor we're gonna i'm gonna immediately go and review it because i'm gonna talk mad shit about that armor i'm not a fan of it um but the dungeon armor as well i'm gonna try to push that as well <clears throat> the other thing that kind of sucks donkey dick is the fact that the uh armor for this season the uh this one right here shade stalker um, the class items are not dropping for me which is pretty terrible and yeah that's um yeah it's pretty fucking rough so i'm having troubles with that but once once i get all of this armor i'm definitely going to review it and we're probably going to start doing other stuff as well um some thematic videos i want to go back to doing those i want to get back to doing the exotic videos because uh, i am not done with all of the exotics and I will most likely start to do some old exotics that I did. So Stompies, for example, I've already done a video for it. I'm thinking about doing uh, like an overview of all of the fashion that I've done for Stompies. So that way you guys can see like what you can expect from me. That being said, it will most likely be in a much simpler format because if I do the whole rotation thing, it's going to take a long time because I've done a lot of fashion for this these boots. So it's probably going to be pictures. Um, yeah you know what i might do that and then depending on which ones you guys like the most i might like yeah that actually sounds cool okay well i'll uh think about that when uh we make the stompies video but i appreciate you guys coming up to this point remember if you guys want to see some certain content from me let me know in the comments below definitely get started on it because uh yeah if it's other video games other stuff yeah let me know i'm super open to ideas right now because uh destiny 2 is having me burnt out even though the season's like decent it's not the worst mind you but it's just like i, I expected a little more so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later i gotta go poop <laughs>